And both of those artists, Marvin Gaye, makes me want to holler, throw up both my hands in despair. I'm not sure who wrote It's Like a Jungle out here. Sometimes I wonder how I keep But both of those songs make a whole lot of sense, and that's how many of you are feeling right now, and that's how this father felt about his son. I'm so frustrated. I'm so ticked off. My nerves are, ch are shattered. And if you can do anything, I'm asking you to help us. And Jesus comes back and volleys the ball back to his side of the court and says, really, the issue is not whether or not I can do it, but the issue is, do you believe I can do it? Here it is. The issue is not whether or not I, I can do it. I can do it if you believe I can do it. I need you to tell somebody, God can do it if you believe he can do it. I mean, and I was teasing with Shirley and Lawrence, I can do that with them because of our relationship over 25 years, and I love them, but, 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 but God can do it if, if you want him to do it. And the bottom line, Lawrence Shirley may not want him to do it. That's the bottom line. You got to you know, woo her and take her to dinner and, you know, smooth and, you know, put on a little Luther, and, et cetera. Bless God. Tell the Lord yes. And uh, amen. The thing is, you got, to, you got to make sure God can do it. But the bottom line is, do I really want God to do it? Here, please hear me. You've got to have a faith that cannot be shaken. Well, I'm challenged by the young woman that came forward for her baby to be christened because there's a whole story. There's like a whole volume. There's 22 volumes in her one story. And when I was christening that baby, I, I could barely get the baby and get that baby from her because she was snatching back and quickening and thanking God and speaking in other tongues because she knows the journey, bless God, today that she has been through. Nobody knows what you've been through but you and God. Now, you know there is your public testimony and then there's your private testimony. There is the nice public sanitized version. There is the first giving honor to God, the head of my life. I want to thank him. I used to be on drugs. That's a sanitized version. But if everybody knew the down, dirty, gritty version of what you came out of, what God delivered you from, they'd change their seat. They'd hold their handbag. But God God has saved you. God has changed you. And your future is bright because God has his hand on you. You may be going through some rough times now. You may have sinned last night, but God's hand is still on you this morning.